Hello everyone, my name is Boost and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be opening this Dino Riders 5 pack. So without further ado, let's get straight on to opening this. Now as you can tell, this is way bigger from what I normally open. We've got 5 cars instead of the regular 1, which is what I'd normally get. Because those are the mainline cars, but Dino Riders 5 pack, shout out to my brother for hooking me up with this pack. So, well, hook, not hooking me up, for letting me open this on his video. I'm not, I'm not on his video, but on my video. This is his 5 pack. He let me open this on video. Same with the last cards I opened. If you see that double fantasy opening review, he allowed me, I asked him if it was okay if I could open it. And he said, yeah, go for it. So, I'm going to open this. I've not opened a 5 pack in so long. Been ages. I think the last five pack I opened was almost over a year ago, so that explains why I have no clue what I'm doing. But this, as soon as we get all this open and reviewed and uploaded to YouTube, I'm going to give these cards straight back to him because it is his pack, of course. So, oh my gosh, it's taking way too long. I've opened this just completely wrong. Uh, on, and I think we might have it. So. There we go, the cars are out of the pack, and we can have a look at them all individually now. We've got some pretty cool fantasy bottles in here, so let's get started. Alright, the first car from this pack, here we have a Humvee. A very, very wide fantasy car, so it has Dino Hunter on the side. Obviously, this car is based off a of Hummer. Now, I'm pretty sure they have the um, Hot Wheels have the license to do Hummer, but I really don't know. I have not looked that up to see if that's true or false, but still... This is such a wide car. If we pull out one of the other cars from the pack, we can just see... Actually, no, that's a rubbish example. Um, let me find another car. Alright, here we have a Minion Pig, which is quite an old release, so... How are we going to show this? Um, let's just have a like a back-to-back -back comparison. Oh, actually, no, that's a terrible idea. You can see... It's so hard to tell, but this car, the Hummer, is insanely wide. So, we'll put Minion Pig to the side. So, here we have plastic body, metal base... Such a shame that they had to go um, plastic body on this one, but still, I'd rather them use the plastic bodies on fantasy models than use them on like the really good stuff that I'm into, like the just um, realistic stuff. So, K27 on the base, that's the base code, so 27th week of 2017 is when this pack was made. Or, sh is it 2017? I don't remember, I haven't looked up what the base codes are for each car in a while, but here we have red window there, you can see right through it. Well, that is very, very red. Looks a bit weird almost, but we can take a look inside the driver's seat, maybe? No, we can barely see in there, but we have some different wheels. These are wheels I have not opened in a long time. These are off-road five spokes, I'm pretty sure. They've got a brown tire and red um, inside piece for the wheel. Definitely something that I have not like had a look at properly in ages, but still. Humvee is a pretty alright fantasy model, one of the better ones because it just looks really realistic. But anyways, on to the next car. Alright, here we have a really, really light fantasy car. Actually, all of these cars in this pack of fantasy. Here we have T-Rex Droid. This is plastic body, plastic base. That is very sad. Plastic body, plastic base with metal exhaust pipes, and that's the only metal part of this car. So that was that's what makes it so incredibly light. You can just pop it back there, and it will do a few manuals as well, which is pretty cool. But anyway, fancy car that I have not seen probably in like a year or two when it was last released in the mainline. But still, if we have a look around. Got a baby blue body, which is a pretty cool color. But on this car, I would have expected like a dark brown to go with a dinosaur look, or like darker green or something along those lines. But still. It's a pretty cool colour, I like it, and we got really v just ugly wheels, <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that, they really remind me of guacamole. Don't know why, it's just the green is that bad, that it just reminds me of some food. So hit the green wheels, PR5 with a black rim, or black interior piece of the wheel. Just very interesting car in general, obviously this is more of a kid's 5 pack, so definitely if you're a younger viewer, I know you would love this pack, but still, as a, if you're a collector like me, I know that um, most of these cars you're not going to be um, looking looking after very well or just looking for in general. But still, this is more of a pack for the kids. So good that they have some colorful fantasy models in here. All right, here we have a model that I used to have when I was a kid. This is Croc Rod. I don't remember what color I had this in, but I do remember the body part here. This was green, and that's pretty much all I can remember. It was probably from around 2005 or so if that got a release then, but here we have it back again in this 5-pack, so these would all have the same base code, and wow, that paint on the bottom 
That is very nice, just matte black colour. I don't think we've seen that in a while. Just very nice, clean looking finish on that. Just looks very cool. So, do we have a base coat on here? I think we do. We just have to flip it around. Uh, I cannot see. Yeah, I cannot see that at all. Uh, I don't think they put the base coat in this car very well, but still, this is an alright car. Just a bit nostalgic for me, which is why I somewhat like it, but red open hole fire spokes with a lime green rim. Fantasy models, they're really crazy with the colours. There's no really um, caring for what colours they go for as long as it like stands out. So, if, what is this? This is a metal body metal base, or... This green bit, I guess you consider consider the body. This yellow plastic, I yeah, this is pretty much the interior piece. Um, pretty sure the driver would sit in there somewhere. Yeah, I have no idea, but still, it's an alright car. Pretty nostalgic for me, but anyways, let's move on. All right, here we have another very light fantasy model. Here we have Fangster. Now, I don't think this has had a release. Oh, actually. I think this might have had a release lately in like a mystery model set or something like that. I just, I just remember it being released, but I'm not sure. But still, I, the only thing I like about this car is the fact that the wheels are purple because purple is a really nice color for me. If you have a look at my channel art, channel banner, pretty much anything of my tastes, you can tell that obviously purple is a really go-to color for me. So what have we got? We got a bronze golden body, which. Is okay we got pink hot pink interior now that's a pretty cool color as well if we had more cars in this exact same color in the main line I would buy so many of them reminds me of the color of turbine time which I think was released in 2016 in hot pink but that's very cool and of course moving on to the wheels these are purple with a gold rim or gold rim gold inside gold spokes gold rim gold chrome I yeah, chrome is okay. As long as it's not a real car, like a 1-1 one, one scale car, then I suppose it's okay because I don't really like chrome on cars at all. But here we have the base code. We can see more clear. It's K27, 2015 copyright Mattel. So this might be a 2016 pack, actually. Yeah, I think this might have been a 2016 five pack, which I did not know. Um, this might have been from Target then. Because Target has had $5 five pack sales, so this might have been just a peg warmer that... My, uh, no, not my parents, silly me. Um, I think Santa might have had to pick up because this was a Christmas present, as I forgot to mention, but still, I guess Santa has a really big case of fantasy cars. It's a bit odd. I thought it would be into hot rods, but, you know, on to the next car. And the final car, which is a pretty okay car, better than the rest in the pack, in my opinion. Here we have Enforcer. This is a pretty old model. Don't know when it dates back to, but I'm pretty sure it's had a few releases in... 1980 or so, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a brand new color, obviously, as you can tell. So here we have red body, that's made out of metal, which I'm happy about. And the ugly, ugly green base looks like, once again, like guacamole. Not nice at all. But, um, base code K27, all, obviously all these cars in this pack would be made in the same week, so. Oh my god, I just noticed the wheels as well. That looks like it's been rolling through a lot of mud there. That is, um, yeah, I wish it just could be black wheels, honestly, but uh, there's not much we can do about that. And here we have the black window there, except it's not a window piece, I don't think, or it's a piece of just black plastic. That, so you can't see on, on the inside of this car, which is a bit sad, but there's not enough room for it to um just have interior anyways. It's such a skinny model. Look how skinny this is. There's almost no room for an interior piece at all. So I think this might be it for the car, except if we have a look at the tambos on the back. We got black stripes, brown stripes, and all sort of stripes going on that continue down to the front. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to click the like button, share it, comment your favorite car out of this pack. I'll pull all the cars to the side again. Um, oh, are they even all going to fit? I don't know, but... Uh, put this one at the back and Humvee can go at the back as well. But anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to click the like button, comment your favourite car in the comments, and I'll see you all next time. See ya!